In exercise 6C of uh, getting to know ArcGIS desktop for ArcGIS 9.3, we'll be looking at mapping density uh, and also showing map density in um, dot density, using dot density classification. So exercise 6C begins on page 156. Um, go ahead and open existing uh, map. Uh, this will not surprise you, we're looking again at the African uh, African uh, project. But this time we'll have a seventh one, and that's population density. As you see by the dotted line, population density is activated, so we'll go ahead into the data view. Let's look directly at the data. What data do we have? Do we have population density? That would be nice, but as you can see, uh, no, we just have the name of the countries, uh, the square area, uh, the population censuses, uh, and different age groups. So uh, 0 to 14, 15 to 64, and over 64. But nowhere is population density. But hey, we have uh, area in, in square kilometers, and we have population in 2000. Can't we somehow calculate that? Well, yes, we can. We'll let, um, we'll let ArcGIS do the calculations for us. Go ahead and close the attribute table and open up the symbology window actually it's the layer properties window and go to the symbology tab before we've we've gone to categories unique values but uh, we want to go to uh, graduated color, uh, quantities sorry going to the quantities it um, starts off with graduated colors for you but the fields First, let's look at what fields we have. Okay, well, we have population, the 2000, and we can normalize it to the area in square kilometers because population per square kilometer is population density. And as you see, this normalization for area is done automatically, and, uh, and it's right, shown right here in the window. Apply. We, we see different different differences from the normal population map. Uh, with population den ten density, uh, Nigeria is no longer in the highest category. The highest category is reserved for uh, Rwanda, and two other countries join uh, Nigeria in the second highest for population density, and that is um, Burundi, just south of Rwanda, and uh, Equatorial Guinea. Okay, but that m that is nice. However, we've always used graduated colors, and we want to play around with a different way of showing uh, population, and that's by dot density. And with dot density, the the um, you don't have to normalize it; it's done automatically for you. All you have to do uh, is select the POP 2000 data, highlight it by clicking on it, click the arrow to add it to the field for symbology. We want to use a dot. Let's make the size 2. It should be much smaller. Um, the color is also slightly off. We would want the color to be a grayish. Let's make it gray 60, like in step 13 of your book. Uh, one last thing we will want to change is uh, the colors of the lines which are in between the countries they might just get in the way so we'll just turn those off so that the 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 borders between the between the countries go away and lastly uh, dot dot value we want the dot values to be 750 thousand people uh, like shown in in step three Thirteen. So go ahead and change the dot value to 750,000 and click apply. 
So this may not look exactly like mine because dot density is uh, is a random um, it's a random feature. Uh, I think it looks slightly better if you if you put it at if you put it at uh, size four. But clearly, you still see that the, the, the density in, in Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, Rwanda, and Burundi are significantly higher than than several other countries, such as Namibia. Um, that concludes this last exercise, except for one last part, and that is to look uh, at the map as it is now. Okay, yeah, that's satisfactory. Uh, if you are finished with this exercise, go ahead and save your data and move on to exercise 6D.